Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile Top 10 episode and today we will be taking a look at the gold characters with the highest health. And right off the bat, before we begin, here is something important to consider when watching the video. First thing first, we are ranking all gold characters based on their base health without any buffs or bonuses. This means no feats of strength bonuses, no support cards, nothing. And second, the gold characters you are about to see are all the way up and including update 2.5. So if a gold character has been released on later stage, for obvious reasons you won't find him or her in the video. So without any further ado, let us check which of the gold characters with the top 10 highest health in Mortal Kombat Mobile. Number 10 on our list is actually shared between 6 characters, all having the same health of 84,480. And the first to be revealed is High Tech Jackie. By the way, I recently reviewed her and I discovered that her passive actually doesn't work, or at least it doesn't work for her Spec Ops teammates, which is a pity because after all, it is everything she has. However, we all have to agree that despite being heavily outdated, Jackie has pretty decent amount of hit points and this will always work. The next character sharing the same health as Jackie is Triborg Smoke. Considered by many as the best Triborg in and outside of a Triborg team, it seems that he is not just dangerous but pretty tough to beat as well. So regardless if whether you like him or not, the fact remains that he made it to top 10 attacks and now he makes another appearance in our top 10 gold series. Well done, Smoke. Combat Cup Johnny is the next card to join Smoke and Jackie having the same basic health of 84,480. And by the way, this is his score without counting his passive, because if we do, then he will actually have as high as around 97,000 hit points. But as we already agreed, passives are completely out of scope and we will just be ranking what we see written on the character's card. So, unfortunately for Johnny, he just ranks 10 for now, but hey, this is still something, right? So far, we covered 3 of the 6 guys standing at number 10. Unfortunately for me, now comes the unpleasant part of the video when I have to speak about 3 characters that I plainly dislike, especially one of them. Yes, you guessed it, I am talking about Scorch Baraka. Thing is, even if he has the biggest amount of health in MK Mobile, I still won't like him. Just look at his ugly face, his ridiculous way of movement and last but not least, the horrible, horrible high kick of his basic attack combo. And to all this you have to add the fact that you can block all of his special attacks and he adds zero supportive value to your team. There you go, you have Baraka. But after all, this is just my opinion, if you like Baraka, that's perfectly fine. Standing right next to Baraka we have Vengeful Shinnok, another gold card that I dislike even though I definitely prefer him to Baraka. The problem I have with Shinnok is that I find his passive underwhelming. However, some of you probably don't know, but when he got released his special 2 was extremely overpowered and could one shot a full HP diamond card regardless of the fact whether the enemy is blocking or not. Back then Shinnok was plainly broken. Now not that much. And the last character sharing number 10 is the Lord himself, <laughs> Kraken Reptile. Another not that great card with decent health. In fact, he really needs high hit points in order to stay in battle as long as possible and to utilize his passive to the maximum extent. I mean, what else can I say about Lord Kraken, guys? You all know him and you all know what he can do. Right? Coming in at number 9, with 86,400 health, we have Classic Ermac. For those of you who don't know, long, long time ago, Classic Ermac used to be a gold challenge character before he got eventually moved to the Faction War store. All in all, he is not a bad character and he has unblockable special tool that deals tons of damage. And as you can see, he also has not bad stats. I just want to remind you that Classic Ermac ranked 3rd in the previous attack video and now he ranks 9th. Well done, Ermac.
Coming in at number 8, with 87,552 hit points, we have Shokan Warrior Kintaro. A lot of people don't like him in virtue of his slow basic attack speed and his underwhelming passive and to be honest I'm one of them. However Kintaro can still work in some teams, you can try to team him up with Ravenous Melina and Classic Reptile or simply put him in a team with other two guys with unblockable special tools. Trust me, you won't regret it. Ranking at number 7, with 88,320 basic health, we have 3 characters. And the first one on the list is Aftershock Tremor, who is making yet another appearance in our series. Tremor actually is a great character even if we don't consider his high stats. He can be incredibly useful in many teams, and many people tend to underestimate the second part of his passive, which in my opinion is quite awesome. In fact, a lot of players were using Tremor's passive in order to pass the extremely difficult battle 194 in LKT. So if you have Tremor and you don't use him often, consider dusting him off. Another awesome gold character is standing right next to Tremor, Cosplay Jackie. All you have to do is take a look at your enemies and choose her variation accordingly, the rest she can do alone. Cosplay Jackie is by far one of the best gold characters in the game and she definitely deserves her 7th place on our list. And the last character having the same health of 88,320 is MK11 Cabal. Some of you have probably forgotten but Cabal actually won the top 10 attacks episode and now he makes another appearance in the series. Honestly, he can easily contest the title best go character in MK Mobile and why not best character in general? I know, I know, the diamonds, the fourth equipment slot, so on and so on. Still, I don't think I will be wrong by saying that MK11 Cabal is better than probably 30% of all diamonds in the game. He's just that good even outside of an MK11 team. Ranking at number 6, with 90,240 base hit points, we have two fan favorite characters. The first one is Elder God Kenshi, the Power Master the guy who can easily power up his teammates and probably the only Elder God who has some real supportive value. Anyways, Kenshi is really a great character, the only thing that I dislike about him is the fact that he needs to finish off his enemies by using his special attacks. If he could do that by regular hits as well, I mean if he could trigger his passive by finishing off enemies by regular hits, he would have been much better character, but I guess it is what it is. And standing right next to Kenshi, we have Hanso Hasashi Scorpion. A lot of players consider him the best GOAT in the game and many believe that he should be promoted to Diamond as he's just too good for a GOAT. Well, I'm not a big fan of him to be honest, mainly because his passive kind of works just on him and the bleed duration is ridiculously short. But apart from that, he is a really great character and his 6th place in today's episode is here to prove that. Brace yourselves guys, we reach number 5 and it is shared by 6 characters all having 92,160 base health. The first one on the list is the ultimate teacher Boraicho. Many people underestimate him, but in my eyes Boraitra is one of the best goats with extremely fun passive and very good special abilities. And trust me guys, if you team him up properly, he can wipe out the entire enemy team alone and pretty fast. So why people don't like him, I have no clue. Another not that favorite card shares the same health with Boraicho and that is Tiger Fury Goro. This is the word that describes Goro, fire, because it will be a waste if you use him in a team that doesn't have fire. 
he simply made to burn his enemies and he excels at that. His only problem is the fact that all of his special attacks can be blocked and of course we shouldn't forget his slow basic attacks. But apart from that, Goro ranked 5th in highest attacks and now again 5th in highest health. And this is an achievement that shouldn't be underestimated. MK11 Jade is the third character sharing number 5. I've played so many games with her and unlike in Cabal's case where I wasn't entirely convinced that he's better than most of the diamonds, here I am. MK11 Jade is simply a beast and she can excel in and out of MK11 team. All you need to do is give her her stuff, block attacks until you evade once or twice and then wreak havoc on your enemies. It is that easy. And as you can see, Jade has the health to back this up. Really an amazing character. Warlock Quan Chi is the next character on the list and yet he is so underrated. Probably the reason why many people don't choose him is simply because they have better alternatives. And unfortunately for Quan Chi, this is actually the case, especially if you have developed account. Some of you probably don't know, but when he was released, Quan Chi had one of the highest if not the highest health in the game and now years after he is still in top 5 an incredible achievement the fifth character sharing number 5 happens to be a triborg guys we already mentioned smoke earlier in the video and now it is time for triborg sub zero to step in the best fighter in the triborg team sub zero is a really great character who can stand his ground with or without other triborgs by his side. And as you can currently see, he has not only great passive and amazing special attacks, but, but also sky high health. Well done, Sub Zero. And the last character sharing number five, guys, is the lovely Vampiress Nelina. One of the best gold characters in the game, and by far the best looking character in the game. One thing that saddens me is that she is not a diamond because I really want another diamond Melina in the game. After all, we have two diamond Scarlets, why the hell we don't have two diamond Melinas? Makes sense, right? Anyhow, diamond or not, Melina is an amazing character with great special too, amazing victory stance, the best victory stance, and pretty decent health. Coming in at number 4, we have just one character and this one character happens to be Treacherous Tanya. When she was released, her 94,080 hit points were the highest among all other gold characters and now a few years later, unfortunately for her, she was dethroned and now she is taking the unsatisfying 4th place. Still, she can take a lot of punishment and deal a lot of damage at the same time, so you should never ever underestimate her. But enough about Tanya guys, because it is time to jump into our top 3. Coming in at number 3, with 97,920 base health we have the one and only Combat Cup Sonya. Whatever I have to say about her guys, it won't be enough. She's the girl with the creepy smile and the incredible passive. She's the girl that can work in literally any team and to add tons of value to any team. She can be equally useful in any game mode, in any tower, in any faction wars match, everywhere. Unfortunately for her though, she couldn't win this episode, but hell, she doesn't have to. We all know how good she is. And the runner up of the series guys, with 99,840 health, we have MK11 Raiden, the Elder God. I actually asked you long time ago to guess who will rank second and unfortunately for poor Raiden, many of you didn't consider him worthy of that honor, but as it turns out, many of you were wrong. Long story short, don't underestimate MK11 Raiden guys, yes he is not that good compared to the other MK11 characters, that's true, but this doesn't make him bad, not at all. Anyways, we've traveled so far guys, it is time to reveal our champion. Tasty. 
and the absolute champion of the episode guys with 103,680 base health we have classic Melina. What a surprise, she actually won top 10 attacks and now she extends her winning streak. This is really an incredible achievement. It is just insane, she has the highest attack and the highest health among all gold characters in the game. And who knows, can she keep on winning in the next episode? Will her domination continue? We'll find out next time when we'll be revealing our top 10 highest toughnesses in MK Mobile. Once again, let's congratulate Classic Melina for being the gold character with the highest health in the game. Ok guys, this will conclude today's video, stick around because the next top 10 toughnesses episode is just around the corner. Until then, see you next time guys. Take care. Perfect, perfect.